The Department of Education, in a partnership with the European Union, today launched Phase 2 of the Human Resources Development Program in Port Moresby. The launch aims to increase access to quality lower secondary vocational education and training. European Union funded Phase 1 of this program last year with approximately 85 million kina. Ten vocational institutions will benefit from the program in six provinces, which are East New Britain, Eastern Highlands, Enga, Morabe and the National Capital District, Esther Bralinwani reports. Students from Badili and Morata Vocational Schools in NCD dressed in different provincial attires adding color to the ceremony. The Trobrian dancers were given the opportunity of bringing in the guests and they also had the chance of entertaining them before the formalities of events started. <laughs> Officiating at the launch today were Education Minister Nick Kuman, Education Secretary Uke Kombra, EU's Ed, Yanis Gio Karakis Agiropoulos, and other delegates. Minister Kuman officially launched the program by cutting the ribbon. The minister highlighted developing the human capacity is challenging. Chief labor market in the world today, this is where it is important. It is very critical that this government has to invest where it needs more capital development in this country so how many Guineans can actively participate. He also says the government needs to invest in the human resource rather than getting cheap labor from other countries. Gio Karakis Agiropoulos says there is a growing need to cater for the number of school leavers. Increasing the need to, uh, to increase investment for secondary vocational and training school systems to cater for the growing number of primary school leavers and also to provide the quality knowledge and skills uh, education which is aligned with the needs of the community, the society, and the economy. Esther Berlinwani, NBC National News, Port Mosby.